what people in countries feel based on what type of body we have. Uh, we all have seen it in history class how girls were classified for and now in our time with social media. I'm a girl, therefore I'm affected by this culture, and I would like to point out that each of us are actually affected as individuals, and you will learn how this culture affects us all, and first you, you will see what is the culture, then how this affects our society, and then how this affects the individual. First, what is girl culture? In order for you to get a better idea of what it is, you will, you will see how this affects uh, how this affects, how this was uh, affecting before and now in our times with, social, with, um, with, with a lot of morals. <laughs> um, first, according to Catherine Driscoll, a professor of gender and cultural studies in, in the University of Sydney in, in the article named Girls Today, Girls, Girl Culture and Girl Studies, published by Academy in this year, she said that um, before girl culture was way more classified and in, in like in the consumerism um, phases. Um, so for example, in the 1915s, in um, in the early cinemas, like Birth of, Birth of a Nation, uh, the girl was representing like someone who who um, who gives birth, and like and within her um, the promise of, of a new future. But then again, that changed in the in the 1950s um, as girls were, uh, were being passed as being tricks. And that actually damaged um, the girl um, culture from the 1950s and our individuality. Uh, so now in our times, according to um, to the cultural researchers and authors of many books about culture, Claudia Mitchell and Dr. Middlewash, in the book Girl Culture and Its Equative, published by Green Green Country Press, uh, they uh, they said based um, now in in our society, um, girls were classified and. Um, in in more of um, in in many topics, but this when a girl gets their in, in the individuality, they will get it by by um, by uh, by style, and and that actually goes by sexuality as well. They said they pass human, they human it cannot go past that, and but conservatism actually damages this. They that it will leave the girl as only the. Um, that like the only one who's trying to get the men, and that actually damaged the the girl in the um, So now, um, that, so now that you know what is girl culture, now now let's move on how how this affects society. So you will see um, how this how doll culture and uh, and consumerism culture um, damages this. Uh, so first, doll culture. Uh, um, according again to Claudia Mitchell and Daphne Wadewash in the book of Culture and Encyclopedia, uh, they said that curious view of dolls as this. Girls playing with dolls, girls engaging their, their fantasy, fantasies through dolls, and then when the girls um, grow, grow older, the, the role of being a doll falls to, into girls. And, and that actually uh, contributes to, uh, to anorexia, to fashion magazines, and to um, cosmetic surgery. And so this damages the, the lifestyle of any girl now in, in society. Um, so now, con consumerism culture. According to the website, Estatista of the Girl and Stokes Richard published in September 7, 2014, around 1.9 million are spent in Stroke, 71.9 million in Left Six, 7.7 um, million in a Polish, and 58.9 million in a row on and eyeliner are only spent in the in the supermarkets of the of US only. So this means that baby girl it does not actually um, bring beauty to the public but also to the uh, money to the pockets of these industries of fashion and um, and and cosmetics. So now that you know um, what what is girl culture and how this affects society now now let's move on how this affects the in the individual. So first you will see a girl perspective, and then you will see, um, and and then you will see how this um, affects gender roles. Um, so according to Andrew Clover, a film editor and and a journalist, called an interview in 2002 for the book of Culture by Larry Gerfield. And in, in this interview, um, he interviewed uh, multiple girls and um, and. 
and the male leader said this, um, I've been approached by people who think I'm older, maybe because of the makeup, the, the way I dress, and generally the way I look makes me kind of comfortable, because I might look older than I, than I actually am, but I don't need it all, I'm only 13. It's kind of scary, it, it is a hard feeling not to know where to fit in yet. So this, so girl culture actually damage um, how girls, um, the role of girls, and and it's logical how how many girl it's different from being a baby to a kid to a girl and then to a teenager and lastly to a woman it's differently, and um and now you will see how this affects ge ge gender roles. Um, According to the podcast of the New York University of Chicago, the main episode on gender, um, in this podcast they said means that we are so focused on on, on our um, um, on our social phenomena and and biological phenomena of, of of the self, and this actually creates a lot of hate crimes um, during our society. And in this podcast, like a lot of. Uh, Males were saying these that they were different since they, they were kids. Um, they they cannot change themselves. Means that um, they they will be looked against. So now that you know what is girl culture and how this affects society and how how this affects the individuals, now let's move on to the conclusion. So now that 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 you know um, about this, it it, it is it. An in interesting topic based that it does break a lot of um, topics along with it, and you learn what is girl culture, how this affects society, and then how this affects the individual. Um, girl culture, it really defines us based that it does change our perception on how we see um, other cultures and their and their genders. Thank you.